catch up on wheels. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm so much taller than Sandra, it's because That's my because wheels. Because you are taller than. No, me. no, but my wheels are like huge. <laughs> she has these tiny like roller skate wheels, which is very old school, right? But I have to say, you learn roller skating like as an adult. Yeah, as an adult. That's actually I walk. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Still learning. Still, Still learning. learning. <laughs> okay, top tip when you're on skates, yeah, keep your weight on the yeah. front. Yeah, yeah. Don't lean back. <laughs> You learn all these things like seemingly very randomly. I know we're quite similar like that, but yeah. you're like the hardcore version. I, I also don't think I'm that hardcore because I'm also very afraid of a lot of things. Like, I'm very afraid of heights. Like, very afraid of heights. So you don't do anything height-based? Like bungee jumping? No, that? no. But oh me, my God, me too! Would oh. you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but skydiving, okay? I don't know. Because it looks so unreal. Like, when you look okay, down, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like I'm going to fall true. to my death. Huh? Like, if I do die, I'll be in the clouds. <laughs> or at least I Keep have that. telling yourself that, girl. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I feel like every sport that you do, you go in like... Like, for example, you started roller skating as an adult and then you learn do, to do tricks. I think also because I'm a, I'm a late bloomer. Like, do you say... Do you, why do you say that? Because I feel like I've gotten more abilities as I've gotten older. Okay. And I've bloomed older. Like, it took really long to bloom. What, what would you consider blooming? Hmm, well, that's a good question. <laughs> Back. So good, right? So good. Hey, let's go a little bit faster. Slow is so okay. hard. <laughs> um, okay. I think it's just being more confident in myself and like not being afraid to look stupid. When is the, the period when you feel that you felt that way? Hmm, I think it took a while. Maybe after 21. Oh, really? Yeah. So like, in school, you were not like this. You were not like, let's try everything. Let's do everything. Let's just go for it. I think it also depends who's around me. Like what kind of friends and people are around me. Like if they want to... I guess I'm quite easily peer pressured. Okay, so it is very important then to you to be surrounded by oh, the correct people then. So important, like your vibe, your energy, and the people that are around you. Because at the end of the day, like you are the six. What is it? The sum of the five people around you. Was oh, it six? I thought it was five. I thought it was six. Okay, either one. <laughs> five or six, last? No. I thought it was five. Yeah, so you are the. I never believed that, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah, really. You don't think so? I have been told that it's it is true. Like influence, maybe maybe because you're so not easily influenced that you're like I am my own person. You're so confident in yourself. That no, 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 no. The people around you makes no difference. I think it's different for everyone. Yeah, but let yeah, me for know. Sure, for let sure. let me know what you guys think. Yeah, guys? yeah, because you are like one of the most motivated people that I oh, know. Really? Okay, so I had to do a bit of sleuthing. Um, all the five minutes just before we met. <laughs> To find out like more about you, more than like whatever I already know. Yeah. Right? So I, I found out you own like many businesses. Can oh, you tell I me what the hell do you do? Hmm. I guess I've always been like an enjoy the entrepreneurship of everything yeah. since I was young. Because the first memory that I have of me like attempting to sell something was when I was in primary school. Then what I brought, a hustler! <laughs> <laughs> I brought like, I bought, picked up seashells on the beach, right? With my parents. And then I went to class and I wanted to sell them. So I sold like one one seashell for like fifty cents. What? Thirty cents. What? Well, you're dead hustler. Eh? I cannot take it. And oh, but that, that shows. Yeah. I, I guess. I, I never really thought about that until when I thought like, oh, I guess it was quite natural for me to want to take things and then sell them. Other people. <laughs> Sent the Riley the the hustler. And then my parents found out because my teacher caught me and then she snitched on me to my oh, parents. But really? my parents were very proud. They were like, oh, you're so clever. I will be so proud of you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but you weren't supposed to do that like primary school. No, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to like sell seashells to your friends. <laughs> to your, to your, like, your... Con. Yeah, like, what a hustler. They were, they were pretty seashells. Yeah, so I saw you had like a yoga business. Yeah, so I founded the Yoga Co. Mm -hmm. Which no longer exists because I sold it off to focus on my music career. But yeah, before that, I did a lot of crafts. I did like fabric phone covers. Um, did like art, yeah, and it was called Riley Art. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, and then I did like, um, like YouTube tutorials, like DIY tutorials. Then that was before. I think it was during the, the period of Sam Willows when we first started. Yeah, and very varied, uh, the stuff that you do. Yeah. Like at least mine is mostly all sports, but you do mm. like a lot of, like you do arty things and stuff. Like I have zero yeah. artistic talent, so you know. I guess this was kind of a bit of a struggle of mine because, oh, well, don't say that. That's not true. This is quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not must at anything, but I'm just slightly above average at most of the stuff that I try or at least I get there and I'm like yep. okay I'm bored I'm going to do something else so maybe oh God, that's quite similar that, that yeah, 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 you get bored yeah. easily so yeah. that's why we always try new things just yeah. because you just want that little like hey move from zero to like one yeah. like that's something you can do then after that it's like too hard you're like ha, never mind <laughs> now, right now what is there a, like a, a plan like work wise music okay tell me about that yes yeah, so you you switched from Sandra Riley to just 
Riley, Riley as a stage name for yes. a solo artist. So yeah. is there a, was there a reason for that or? Yes. Okay, because Sandra Riley Tang sounds more not like a musician. Like it sounds more It's very long lah. Yeah, it's very long lah, <laughs> basically. My parents like gave us all really short names. <laughs> no, but it's good though. I feel like I feel like maybe it wasn't catchy. So, yeah. And also because they're like billions uh, of so Sandra it, Tang in the world. So that's why you've always gone with Sandra Riley. Yes. Okay. So like, I have I had to make a differentiation for myself. Yep. Okay, but like what you said about motivation, mm. I'll be honest, I'm honestly not the most motivated. Person. Really? So I like live my life in like seasons. Whoa! <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I should have warned you there was a slope there. It wasn't a slope, the floor was so bumpy and my wheels are so small. Oh, oh okay, yeah, anyway. I think it's my wheels are so big. I, I don't. <laughs> ah, ah. Why your laughter is insane? Ah, ah. <laughs> what is that? It's oh like my a gosh. Jimmy Carr type laughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, no, so basically like I go through cycles of being extremely motivated and then not motivated at all. And does that bug you? It did for a good for the past few years to be honest. Because yeah. that's how I've been my whole life. Yeah. And I was like, why am I like this? How, well, how roughly how long is the cycle? Anywhere between two weeks to uh -huh. a month. Wow, okay that's alright lah. Then you just keep cycling lah. Yeah, and then I will do absolutely nothing for the next two weeks, three weeks. Okay. And I'm so bored that I need to do something again. So, and it, did it used to bug you that you were like that? Yeah, because I didn't understand it. I was like, yep. why do I get so distracted so easily? Why mm. can I not finish a project? It's very ADD, but yep. I think it's about learning how to deal with that and use it to your best abilities. Do you think you're ADD? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh my god, me too! <laughs> My mother has been telling me this since I was young, not diagnosed. So I tell friends, right, and then they laugh. They're like, you mean it took you this long to realize? I'm like, yeah. uh, really? I mean, I never thought of myself as ADD, yeah. but... I mean, yeah. a lot of people, I think especially in our industry, yes. in the creative industry. And they go undiagnosed, right? But yeah. it just... But it yeah. could be a good thing, you know? I don't think like, it's a bad thing. I really don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think if you don't understand it, it could be a really bad thing because you will hate yourself a lot. Yes. And you think that you're being lazy. Okay, mm. so you and your boyfriend have been together for... Mm. Seems like a long well, time. <laughs> it is a long time. Four years plus now, in November, will be five years. Wow, congrats! <laughs> Hi, baby. That is... <laughs> oh, so sweet, these two. Any, uh, I hate to have to ask this, but I guess because as someone who's married who gets asked all the time, am I going to have kids? Do you get the pressure as well of people asking, are you guys going to have parents? Get oh, really? Grandparents. I think it's more so of just us getting married at this point. But to me, it's like, oh, I'm going to be with him forever. So I feel like there's no difference whether we're yeah, like, or not. Yeah, like, yeah. It'd be yeah. nice at some point, but... Yeah. But there's no need to. Should we yeah. go on or should we just turn back? Let's just go back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I feel like, for me now, I'm really like 30... Oh, I'm 31! <laughs> I love it. This girl, I'm like, let's not even go into age here. Oh, but I came, when, when did you start? Like, how old were you when you started? 23. Yeah, okay. But I, I started right. modeling when I was 14. Wait, when did you start? I guess the same models we started 21. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's very 21. young too, yeah. yeah. So it's been... It's been years. It's, it's year been a decade. 10 years. Wow. Yeah, 10 years with the symbols, yeah. Oh my gosh! Okay. No, no, but I like that, I like that. Because I think, I feel like a lot of people feel pressured and I myself have struggled with it. Mm. Like, I feel like certain boxes I need to check and stuff like that. But it's only as I get older, I feel like, you know what? Screw it. Yeah. I will check the box when I want to check the box. Yeah. Okay, honestly, like I came out as a solo artist at the worst possible time, which was right before COVID hit. <laughs> like literally, I came out with my debut single yeah. and then couldn't do anything with it. True, like, true. No yeah. show, can't even go overseas. Basically, that's two years down the drain. <laughs> when I first started, I gave myself five years, you know. It's yeah. okay, girl. You still have three years. Exactly. Three years is a long time. It is a long time. And I, I, I went to read, uh, again, some sleuthing. Uh, you went to like direct some of the music videos as, and, as well. Oh, yeah. Jessie yes, girl, you are a multi-talented man. Thank you. I'm, okay, I mean, there's some things that I feel like I'm really good at and then there's yep. some things which I'm terrible at. So the things I'm terrible at, most likely you guys probably won't see, ever see it because I won't. What do you them. think you're terrible at? Like time management. <laughs> <laughs> Accounting. Accounting. Oh, for me, for me, accounting. Anything numbers, I'm like terrible. Like <laughs> terrible. <laughs> uh, like school, okay, school wasn't good for me. Oh, all. really? No. Well, you're not a good student. <laughs> okay, define a good student. I don't know, I guess academically, were you, were you a good Oh, student? no, then I was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get an A in English, though. <laughs> and then everything else was like terrible. Like my, prim my PSLE score was 188. Wow. So I barely got into like Express. Express, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I was like, hang, I uh, got hit more points. <laughs> I love the positivity. Yeah, I was like, phew. And then for all levels, well, and my score is so bad. Like my score was L1, R5. 
I think it was like 30 something. Okay. <laughs> but okay. I'm like, okay, I'm like, well, that is, yeah, okay. No, because, okay, here's a funny story. So then, I honestly, honestly thought that, like, your CCA would count. Yeah, what were you in? I was in netball, so I was okay. together on my netball, uh, netball yeah. team. Yeah, oh my I gosh, did, we are so similar! Yeah. I was in netball! <gasps> yeah, yeah. Um, and then I did, like, touch rugby and a whole bunch of other stuff in school. So I love those CCA stuff. And so, did it ever bug you that academically you weren't, like, yeah, I did not. This is I, Singapore, right? I didn't right, understand after. it. Yep. I didn't understand that, like, like, why is it so hard to study? Did Hon- you study? I tried. <laughs> I remember, like, times where I would study. Yeah. Because everyone's studying, right? So yep. I'll sit down, I'll put a book, but nothing will go in. Okay. I would read the same page over and over again, and, yep. like, it made absolutely no sense. But then when I really get down to it, I could do it. I could remember things. Yeah. So we were all studying for O levels. Oh so I sat down. It was night. We were all doing night study. I found like this um, chart. I was like, hey, this looks quite interesting. Okay, I'll try to remember it. So I remembered the whole chart. Like wow. Like the chemistry chart, whatever. But I did the, the test. Yep. I flipped to the back. The whole chart was there. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have to study it. But it, it oh looked so fun funny. studying and I oh did it. Oh, that's so funny. No, but this, this is interesting. interesting. I guess I think for a lot of people who don't do well academically in school, it's hard. You know, I mean, being in Singapore, I mean, the system is changing a little bit, but I guess at that point, I don't know if you if you struggle with that. Yeah, but I didn't know what that meant. Okay. It just, but but I was like a prefect, <laughs> so I was a prefect. I did a lot of like leadership roles, and like I love like netball. Then yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Everything to me. And did you always know you wanted to be uh like in music? No, no clue. I think my initial trajectory was to um, join the national team. Okay. Playing netball. Yeah, playing netball. Me too. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But because my school's a neighborhood school, they didn't care about us, so Actually, we wouldn't have like the... It's true. They call it? Trials. Yeah, the trials. You wouldn't yeah. be called for trials. No. It's, it's very, the hierarchy is still very bad. It, it's true. Yeah. I don't know if it's better, but yeah, it's it's who you know also. Like, even yeah. if you're good, you need to get that leg in, right? To yeah. actually be asked Correct. to go for the trials. Exactly. Like, your team has to be good. Yep, yep, yep. So you can't be the only one that's good. But mm. I, I don't know, I was just talking to my housemate about this. What's up, Clement? Uh, <laughs> we were just talking about the school system, like, because we didn't, we both didn't do very well yeah. in school. If you think about it as an adult, if you had to do the same thing, it's kind of ridiculous, right? Like, study eight subjects at the same time, and then your final exam is going to test you everything that you've yep. learned for the whole year. Yep. Uh, who can do that? Oh, that's why I drop subjects. But it, how do you drop subjects? I just didn't go for the test. I didn't go for exam. School? Yeah, because I, I was like, why am I taking nine subjects? So I just didn't go and for... And they allowed you to do that? No, that's why I got into a lot of trouble in school. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't go for the A-Math exam. I didn't go wow. for the chemistry exam. I just decided that I just need an L1, R5, right? Why do I need Oh, to? okay, okay, okay. Just my, need my, my six was subjects. Exactly. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But wow, you are like the... I, I was the kind that wouldn't. I would never break a rule. Oh, oh. Yeah, you were prefect. I was the kind that... Okay, I did break a rule, but like coloured hairband, coloured sports bra type thing. Well, mine was, mine was just coloured hair. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was, they, they used, yeah, like, they put a prefect next to me, and then everyone's in pairs, and then finally I had a, mine was a trio with two prefects next to me to make sure I'll be in class. Woman! Well, yeah, I was there. That's crazy. But strangely, I actually did quite well in school. Like, That's academic, amazing. Yeah, but do you like, like studying? I like studying. Okay. Yeah, I do. But I, I know that, I, I know I have a lot of close friends who struggle with it. And I yeah. feel, you know, and I also think that it has no bearing on how you're going to do it no, later in life, which is why I'm asking to share that. Yeah, because yeah. I, mean, I mean, some people yeah. are just academic and some exactly. people are just not. I just happen to be exactly. academic. <laughs> this girl, my gosh, she know, like, she started wakeboarding after me, but I really haven't got the nerve to try any of the inverts. But honestly, I saw your videos, I was like, damn, girl, you're inspiration. Oh my god. Wait, I'm going to try. I love it. This love best. <laughs> I got to get back. I got to get back. Though. Have you seen yourself? Like, it's wow. like insane. Like, no one would expect that from you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I, I seem very kunyang, right? Yeah, so, exactly. But yeah. no, she is not. Don't be cool. <laughs> I'm just not. very vain, okay? That's the difference. Have you heard her laugh? <laughs> 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 yeah, when, when you went over the bumps, the bumps. <laughs> that was crazy. I was like, oh god, what is that sound? <laughs> Alright, with that, uh, we're gonna we're gonna end off here, but let us know where we can find your new music and okay. what to look forward to next. Okay, so we've got new stuff coming out this year for sure. So um, I've just released one, You Should Have Said So, which came out last year in November, I think. This You Should Have Said So, go check it out. Music videos on YouTube as well. And then more music videos. So just follow me on Instagram and everything else. Yay! <laughs> See you guys! Bye! Bye. Uh, uh, Why your laughter is insane!